Diagnose this antiphospholipid antibody syndrome and this we have clinical as well as lab criteria. First coming to the clinical criteria and in this there should be arterial or venous thrombosis that is superficial or deep thrombosis or there are three or more losses in less than 10 weeks of gestation or if there is one or more loss at more than 10 weeks of gestation and the fetus being morphologically normal. And the fourth criteria is that at least one preterm delivery if it is present secondary to severe PIH or uteroplacental insufficiency then we term it as a part of APLA syndrome. And in the lab findings if there are presence of lupus anticoagulant, presence of IgM or IgG of cardiolipin antibody and presence of beta 2 microglobulin. Now if one or more clinical criteria along with one or more lab criteria is present then it is termed as APLA syndrome. And in the lab findings they say that if any of these are present at two different occasions 12 weeks apart only then they are considered significant. And in APLA syndrome if you get APTT done then it is prolonged. The PT values they are normal and Russell Viper venom time it is increased. And this is termed as revised SAPRO criteria. <laughs>